Hello everyone, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with this fabulous friend of mine, Tom. Hello everybody, I'm Tom Langston uh, from Austin, Texas, but an uh, expat resident of Budapest for soon three and a half years and a wonderful friendship and uh, interest in real estate and investing with my friend Sonia, who you all have subscribe to and hopefully watch all of those videos. Yes, thank you, Tom. So uh, Tom uh, reached out to me and uh, he said like, hmm, Sonia, I know that the uh, Golden Visa is uh, coming up and uh, uh, what would be um, like if you could uh, visit apartments under 250,000 uh, euros? So um, today I'm um, walking through this one and I thought it would be uh, interesting for him to also look at. And uh, we are here in the 9th district uh, today. And so I'm just like, I'm just curious, Tom, like what's your thoughts on uh, 9th district? I like the 9th district for location near the Danube and the family nature of the area near uh, parks and near the uh, whale for entertainment and walking, walking distance. We are only just like one corner down from the whale, from the... The problem the, with many restaurants and food courts and just loads of entertainment on, for off time. And, and the green area for people with pets and families is just a block this direction as well as a large grocery store, which is really a plus. Uh, what amazes me more than anything as a resident from the 6th district to see the 9th district and the difference that we see here. And the difference that we, I believe we see here is a more family oriented, uh, somebody with pets. I think it's a great location for investment in the future. Everybody wanted to buy in the 5th and 6th district as you I know. know. I know. And not just not just because you know when somebody is coming the first timers they know about the 5th district, right? And then when they expanding a little bit then they discovering the 6th district. So normally nobody's talking about the 9th district or the 13th district unless they have a little bit more experience with Budapest. But I know you Personally, you preferring to be in the sixth district because you want to be in the middle of where things are happening. But I know your sister very well, and I'm sure she would like to be close to you. Yes. But have her peace and the quiet, quiet mm -hmm. and right? Like yeah. is that? That's an absolute plus for this area. It doesn't have the clubs and the. Uh, to and fro that the opera and the all of the playhouses that the 6th district gives you on weekends in particular can tend to be some noise that you have to put up with nothing really I'm not putting down the 6th district I love it but right. uh, this has a different vibe here Absolutely. I think it's a wonderful uh, I think that this apartment after seeing it the elevator is modern and amazing it's a third floor apartment I think uh, it's great for investment and somebody putting their toe in for perhaps even a, like you say, my sister, somebody to reside and have a second residence here or maybe right. even a full-time residence. It's a very, the rooms are large. Right. Without breaking the bank, because again, the whole point is that do we still have apartments in downtown Budapest under 250,000 euros? This is amazing to see it 250,000 and so clean with the high ceilings, it hasn't lost its character of a European, uh, Hungarian Budapest apartment, yet it's got enough polish to have the value. Uh, once you see the filming today, I think you're gonna absolutely wanna take a look at it. Right, yeah. right, right. So I feel like uh, about this apartment that has this clean canvas that you can start with and then turn into whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. the way you furnishing or even if you want to move the walls you can move the walls you can come in and do a full renovation and got the place again if that's what you would like to do or you can just do like minor changes or you just furnishing it and move in if you're using it as a second residency then why would you even bother to spend too much money on it right yeah i think for somebody maybe as a stepping off point in this area they could step off by coming in putting maybe two I think $2,000 would put it 
into a position with a little bit of furniture and a little bit of polish to, to, to get in here and see how you like it. And as a second residence, you could have renovations done when you're away or while you're here. Absolutely, I do agree. So we, both of us are very excited about this place, the location and everything. That's, uh, that's a good thing because that's why we came here and took a look at. So thank you guys for joining us today. I ho hope you are also as excited as we are. And thank you so much, Tom, to oh, come in front of the camera because you as like a very experienced person, your thoughts are very valuable. And I'm, and I'm sure that it's helping for someone who is just about to, uh, or still has been thinking, but just about to do the first step. Yeah. Towards. Well, I think it's a very exciting apartment, Sonia. And I thank you for having me today. And I really am excited to have your uh, subscribers to like the video and perhaps uh, <laughs> Uh, subscribe to the channel because you won't want to miss all the excitement that we have going on in Budapest real estate with Sonia and it's an absolute pleasure to be here today and it's an absolute pleasure to be in Budapest my second home and I would encourage you all to subscribe like the video and please come and see us and please contact Sonia you won't regret it thank you so much Tom for the kind words and thank you so much again to joining in we'll see you next time Bye for now.